Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Now, in the last episode, we just waited for Futaba to wake up. She took care of Medjed. Now, our mission is to rid Futaba of her unease. Sorry for the delay on this episode. It's because I've been sick. And there's a lot of reading in this game, and I have a lot of phlegm in my throat. I still have some phlegm in my throat, but not as much. So I'm okay to play this game because I really wanted to get into it. But I knew that I'd just be coughing a lot and messing up a lot if I read while I was being sick. But everything's Gucci now. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because here comes more Persona 5. And let's check on the Plantum Thief. It looks pretty healthy for now. That's what I'm talking about. And I want to talk about something. I want to talk about something that I've been seeing in the comments. A lot of you guys are saying that I should go for Futaba in a relationship. And my first initial reaction was, Ugh! She's like a little sister type. She seems like a younger girl that would be like Z's little sister that he looks after. Not somebody that he gets with in a relationship. But we'll see how it goes because I don't know exactly how old she is. But she seems like a young girl, like at least five years you. younger than Z. Stand up straight and listen closely, okay, let me... inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Why, thank you, Igor. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. Okay, okay, I feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. Oh yeah? Tell me. A scientist's me. research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Oh, okay. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? I got a bad feeling about this. Who stole the research? <laughs> oh yeah, like he's gonna tell me. Allow Rat me bastards. to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Cool. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. Well, what if I like getting swept off my feet? I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Oh shit! I dropped my controller! Fuck me! You see, that's the danger of rolling it up every time you rank up. I dropped my damn controller. You okay? Prison Master rank 7. Fool. I'm a All fool. Right. I'm a damn fool. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. No! I love it here! But yeah, touching up on my point about Futaba, don't you guys feel the same way? Like, I know a lot of people... Damn, 60% approve of the Phantom Thieves? Hell yeah. To the people who don't know what's going to happen in this game, to the people who are like following along as I am, don't you guys think Futaba is more like a little sister type? I knew the Phantom Thieves would pull through. No, you did not. Can you believe they actually took down hackers? It's cool how they don't reveal what they're doing. Who is that guy that was criticizing them? A catchy? It's pretty lame to just criticize without doing anything yourself. Well, Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Scheduled for what? I didn't know I was making appointments with my friends. Futaba, can you open up? Open what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're going to take turns to spend time with Futaba or something like that. The front door. Why? Won't you come to Z? We're in front of Futaba's house. You want to meet here and not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? You never mentioned this. She even stutters in her text? What a boss. It would be very nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon! Hey! Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto's really going about this seriously. Yeah, I think Futaba has, like, social anxiety. She's not comfortable around people. I think she's comfortable around Z, somewhat. Because when she was in LeBlanc with everybody else, she was hiding behind Z. So that must mean she trusts him. And I didn't know she had that thing on her head. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? I need something like that. I want a doll head like that. Well, then. What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You seem confident. Will that be enough? You seem confident, Makoto. 
Yes, you must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. Oh? And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Boring! Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones? Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? Who the fuck wants to talk about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no signs of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. This is odd. It wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Looks like he's playing with his, uh... Ah, uh, superb. Hell yeah! Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. Yeah, the Power Rangers, baby! <laughs> my children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. No! They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman! No, Yellow and Pink's heads and Red's been hacked to bits. This is all Inari's fault. Inari? Your thief clothes were like a fox. According to Japanese folklore, foxes like Inari Zushi, thus Inari. Inari. I like that name. That's a cool name, Inari. Just rolls off the tongue. Inari. Ugh, they were in the perfect poses too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. You wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. How dare you say that to me of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. Isn't that with anybody? If something doesn't interest you, wouldn't you not want to talk about it? Makoto! Come on, you got a thing, girl. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. Yeah, food and weather. Nobody talks about that bullshit. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes, she hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Don't worry, we'll all be there too, just give it a try. We'll all be there too. Well, I, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to Ann and Ryuji. Z will be there as well, so you'll be okay. Well, what if I have things to do? What if I want to spend time with other people? Can I wear my mask? Yes, please do. I think it would be best if you didn't. No, I like the mask. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. So is this what we're gonna do for the whole week? Just a bunch of like getting Futaba out of her shell kind of things? Okay, I can deal with that. I wanna spend some time with other social links though. Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. We're going to the beach? Hell yeah, boy. Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking about how the Phantom Thieves took down Medjet. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We've all been getting attention all over the city. So, how's the one who's helped us take down Medjet down doing? Futaba-chan! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. Uh, we just talked. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. Alright, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. Ooh, I can't wait. Ana and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me, but I guess we'll see what they can do. 
Honor Ryuji is a great combo. Shops open, shops open. Two shops are open. Who am I going to go for? I spent time with this guy last time. So let's go for the fortune teller. Wait, it's Tuesday. Can I spend time with Kawakami? I think I can only spend time with her on like the weekends. So let's go for the fortune teller later. Hello there, Mifume Sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? I'm the best boy in the damn world. Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Fuck did you say? Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Uh, something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um... I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just a natural order of things because I'm a woman. Well, how dare he? How terrible! That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the Terret. Show us the truth, oh divine power. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, the cards have appeared in reverse. Is this? In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No! What should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Not on my watch! Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Oh, we gonna change this shit all day, son. Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Suggest she gives up, change her boss's heart? Fuck yeah! I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. Suggest she give up. Encourage her! What? what? It's a little too idealistic to expect that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Hurrah! Overturn your fate! Fight to the power! You know we're talking about her business success, right? This has nothing to do with the power. Fuck! Okay, overturn your fate! Don't be so irresponsible! That's simply not an option. How can you expect... Okay, what the fuck? I guess I chose the right one. Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my annotated industry. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Yeah, you tell him, girl. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifune-sensei. What? Huh? You're far too irresponsible, Z-san. Her misfortune has already made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. What? It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you... Are you a psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. Yes, that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. You're so stubborn. Open your mind to change. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. I can sense Chiyaha's intense motivation. Is it Chiyaha or Chihaya? I have no freaking clue. All I know is that we're ranked two. Right. Yeah, boy. And yes, I did rhyme. What you gonna do about it? You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. I promise. Goodbye. Well, that's good enough for today. Good night. I didn't forget, though, that she still owes us 100,000 yen. I'm not gonna forget that. She gave us salt. That's the most expensive salt in the history of salt. But today is Ryuji and An's turn for Futaba. So let's do this. Huh? You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. 
There's no customers. What's up? Yo. We're here. Ooh. There she goes. Eep. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Hey. Well, summer vacation is the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of it. Come on. You're gonna get fat, you know. Shut it! Hey. Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Shit freaked me out. That you, Futaba? Yup. Welcome. I need that in my life now. That doll head. Why are you wearing that? Habit. All right, anyway, go. bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this! Man. Sheesh. Looks like today's going to be another noisy day. Why can't she go out in public with that doll head? I approve of that so hard. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Nope. Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What? What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Damn, that's cold. That's suspicious. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. That is true. Hey. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yup, I don't want to get married right now. Yeah! Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Utapa's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. <laughs> but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were going to be some weirdo, but I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm, I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well... How about we try to have her helping us around the store? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. <laughs> Eve! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back? <sighs> Won't you help me? I'll be there too. Yeah, we gotta reassure her that we'll also be there. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Grr, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Alright, hold on guys. I got a bunch of phlegm in my throat. Ah, oh, they hit the spot. Our popularity is going through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. You don't gotta say it over text, too! What in the world were all you doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc. Er, uh, more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Z will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it, so your first test will be helping out at LeBlanc. Only Z will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. We got it. Leave it to me. I'm worried. No, we can't say that. We gotta say, we got this. Thanks for the help. You better make an effort tomorrow, Z. Let's see. Shogi practice, or this is Becky. Yes. Aw, oh, man. Our bond's not gonna deepen yet, guys. So I'm just gonna skip over to the next part where Futaba is helping us out at the shop. So let's do that right. <gasps> you want me to let Futaba help around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Experience is important. I'll be there for her. She requested this. No, she did not. I'll be there for her. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. Don't worry, I did graduate middle school last year. Okay, so she must be a freshman then. And Z is a sophomore, so she's a year younger than us, I think. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. <sighs> well, in that case, how about you wash the dishes? 
Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> Beep! Hey, are you alright? Hey! The usual, boss! Extra strong! Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Don't treat her like a liability. Treat her like an equal or treat her like she's not even doing anything wrong. And then she won't be so self-conscious about everything around her. You okay? Don't freak out. Get a grip. You okay? <laughs> she a new part-timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. Oh, this guy's a creep. <laughs> you usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. Oh, shut your pompous milk customer ass up. It's like the Guatemala pea berry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Ah! <laughs> Yo, here's your coffee. Jeez. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Here's your coffee, sir. Ah, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right. You did great. Take that thing off. It was all wrong. You did great. Huh? Turns out this is pretty easy. To think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself? Mask aside, I'm impressed. <laughs> me too. Looks like people really can change. Sajiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? Mask off first. No, I like the mask on. Uh, I'll think about it. That's a dope mask. Come on, guys. You telling me right now that you wouldn't want that mask on your head? You lying. You lying. I know it's September, but you lying. Did anyone here share information about our real identities? Like hell we'd do that. Why the question? I overheard someone in the city saying they're our acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We might even break into the news online. Or maybe TV. Yeah, if we aim higher. Yeah, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I serve coffee to customers. She did good. She was wearing a mask, though. Nah, she did good. That's great, Futaba-chan. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. But isn't she in that big spaceship? She wouldn't have to deal with people. She could just focus on, like, feeding us information. Kind of like what Risei did in Persona 4. But the difference is, Risei was an actress, and she was always doing stuff like that, so she wouldn't have any problem being around people. But why am I even comparing the two? Mask aside, I really think she's built up some confidence. Yeah, she is. Nice. Okay, it's pretty healthy for now. Who's texting us? More help. Please let me. Please let you what? Please let me verify your skills. Nah, man. I already got skills that pay the bills. Let me go ring Kawakami. Let's see if we can hang out with her today. Oh, so Jiro too. Nah. Let's call Kawakami. Oh. Let's call our teacher Bay. Um. Oh, it's you? I work Friday and Saturday evenings. Bye. Well, fuck off then. Okay, let's talk to Shijiro. It's been a while. Time right now. I don't think my bond will deepen just yet. Okay, well, let's... Uh, fuck. Let's help him out, I guess. And then we'll just, like, right, increase yeah. the bond. Like, we'll inch our way to increasing the bond. And let's just fast forward to the next day. Let's see. Our plans for today are... Huh? Do we not have anything planned? Hell yes. Now I can do what I want to do. I'm out shopping with Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her into crowds like that, though. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They'd probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well. You too, Yusuke? Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba. This doesn't involve you. Note, on is cold to Ryuji. 
Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Just what are they scheming? I don't know, but I want to go shopping. Hey, today's the fourth day already. You getting a little better at dealing with other people? <sighs> I don't know. I can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Yep. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. Uh, hey, wait. Kitty, kitty. Ah, stop it! You're gonna pull my cheeks off. Man, those girls are late. Who do you think they are making us wait like this? Hello? Please excuse us. I'm sorry. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. Huh? What? Uh, a s s swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. What? <laughs> now? That's probably, like, the last thing she would want to do, is put on a swimsuit where she's, like, very revealing in front of all these people. That is the dumbest thing you could do, on. You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, uh, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? <laughs> Even more kind of sweated. Incredible. Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy, On. I know, right? There we go. It's on. Ah! What the? This barely covers anything. That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! Hmm? Push? Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. There, good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Utaba in a swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it? Sounds great. You're such a perv. Go for it, Ryuji. You know what? As much as I want to call Yusuke a perv, I'm going to tell Ryuji to go for it. What? Me? I humbly request you do so as well. Hell no! You guys are such children. Yo. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Utaba's going to the beach? I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it really looks great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. I owe you one. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Yeah, me too. <coughs> oh man. All this talk is making me cough. Oh, I love this song. This is my favorite Persona 5 song. We've got swimsuits. We're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can. I think. Maybe. So you're not confident. Shut up, Inari. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little more. Like what? The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. I wonder who they are. I wonder what they want. They're dangerous either way. Right. We'll need to proceed with extreme caution going forward. That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. Futaba-chan, good luck tomorrow too. Are we going to the beach tomorrow? Is it finally beach time? Please say yes. Please. And also, it's the weekend, so I'm going to call good old Kawakami. Nice. The chief had such high expectations of us. We need to work harder to help Futaba make some good memories. We're going to make some good nice. memories. Calm your kitty ass down. It's healthy for now. Who's this? I'm tired. Well, I'm tired of not being able to see you, so let's change that right now, Kawakami. What the hell? Jeez. Why is she in the hospital? I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. <laughs>
But thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Ugh. How could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? Chuh! There you are! What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. Well, that's because it's summer what? vacation, you ding-dong. Takase-san, you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I'm sorry. These are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? Tisk tisk. And after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? These people are assholes. I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't strain yourself. Don't lie. Don't pay them. Zikun, I'm not taking this anymore. Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place. And she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you. Uh, that's exactly what it sounds like. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki, it's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Sister company? Can you make a lot there? Think this through more. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takesi-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. That's the wrong choice. Isn't there another way? Just rest for now. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm gonna get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. Good. I want her to depend on me. Rank 7, Super Housekeeping! Allows you to request Kawakami to make curry or infiltration tools for you. Right. Really now? She can make me some good old curry? Good. Because a boy gets hungry. <laughs> I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll Get see home you safe, later, okay? Then. Okay. You got it, Kawakami. Now then. So, what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time? That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. Wait, we're not going to the beach today? I thought we were going on here? I can do that. Okay. I'll take a Coca-Cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Can you eat all that? Do you have the money, though? That is the question. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. Oh, yeah. Fine. You owe me. Got it? I want the same. Extra large. Ah, uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba! I'm impressed! Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. 
Hmm? You'd better not be hitting on me. What? How rude. So, Jiro, help me. Will you stop that? Hmm. So, does this mean her training's going good? I think so. I mean, she's around other people. People are in the cafe, and she's just chilling. Let's go with that, then. Jeez. Hey, let me make you guys some after-meal coffee. It's on me. Ah, good guy, Sajiro. Thank you. I want iced cocoa. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. Hmm, I don't think we've ever had a lunch this exciting. Well, that's yep. pretty sad, then. Mm-hmm, it's lots of fun. I like Sajiro. At first, he was an asshole. I kind of knew why he was an asshole, because he thought Z was a criminal. But Sajiro, he's a cool-ass dude. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Okay, so we're not going to the beach anytime soon, then. Power through. Don't force it. When is good for you? Yes, I need exact dates. Oh, she's taking her time. I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow. Okay, so the day after tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to do it in this episode. I think. I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futaba, okay? It's all right. I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish this up. The beach is finally within reach. Cool. Okay, so I'm definitely going to do the beach in this episode if it's the day after tomorrow. If Utaba drags this bitch on, then I don't know if I can do it. Well, we made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. But you know what, guys? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call Kawakami again because I want to see her social link some more. So let's see if we can deepen the bond. Yes, I feel like I can become closer to Kawakami. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. I actually really like the antique feel of this room. But I have to say goodbye to it today. Um... The thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Takesi-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands. So this is just what I have to do. That's the wrong decision. Please reconsider. Is this really what you want? What I want? Takasi-kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takasi-kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? You're running away. If that's what you decided, I need my teacher. Oh, and he stood up. Heh, <laughs> you always seem to make things about you. If I could only follow my own path like you do. Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still felt the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Try to remember. That's your answer. Take a look at yourself. Well, that's your answer then. Ziku. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now, I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Takase-kun like this. Are you going to give up? Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Takese-kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. Hell yeah! And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Be confident in your answer. That's the right choice. You're asking a student? Be confident, girl. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel Kawakami's trust in me strengthening. Oh yeah! 
Rank 8. Damn, right. we're almost done with the social link. It's gonna make me sad when it's all over. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students. Especially to you. I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Takasikun was. But from now on, I'm gonna protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you. That's reassuring. I want to protect you. That kind of line only works from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. But thanks. I'll speak with the Takesis. I'm not gonna run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for me to go. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you later. Good night. Good night. Alright, well that's good. At least she's not gonna be paying those bozos anymore. That was fucked up to begin with. They're just extorting her and blaming her for a death that wasn't actually her fault. Like, she didn't kill that kid. That kid died in his okay. own. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow, we hit the beach. Hey, are you there? Sorry, but I need you to help with the dishes. Help with the dishes! Is Futaba here too? That means we're not only helping out at the cafe, but we're also babysitting Futaba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Hell yeah, boy. Go have fun. And make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Well, you look like a drowned rat no matter what you do. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. This motherfucker. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh, yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai-san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's... What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. I like a catchy <gasps> voice actor. It seems I'm unwelcome like really no matter where voice. I go. It's not just here. That's surprising. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to be sarcastic. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Yeah, you do. That's a nice sweater. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm, this is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. Uh, do we? I agree. I have no words for you. It's just a coincidence. I agree. I kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. 
It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. I feel like my bond with Akechi is growing deeper. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had a social link with this guy. Justice rank three. Oh All yeah. Right. Okay guys, well, it's beach time tomorrow. I was gonna end the episode, but since the last episode was so long ago, we're gonna do it because I love you guys. I love you guys. So it's beach time. You guys ready? You guys got your suntan lotion, your sunglasses, some snacks, everything? Yeah, we good to go? All right, let's do it. Come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Okay. I wanna light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Sure. Did you go with Morgana? I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. Nice. So <laughs> whatever so we're doing seems to be working. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. Cool. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Soji Ro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whip. Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just be careful, okay? What is he doing? He's not even lighting his firework. He's just looking at it. Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! Alright, let's see it. No, no! <laughs> Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. <laughs> I won't leave her side. Don't worry. I'll fight them off. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Dude, we're just going to the beach. Chill the fuck out. I have never been to a beach that crowded in my life. Oh, man, it's packed. Why is Yusuke wearing Sorry a full cool hoodie at the beach? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Look at these thirsty dudes. Look at these dudes. Dude. <laughs> Ryuji has no huh? shame. What? Cat got your tongue. Come on. Are we messing with huh? Whoa, Z's talking? What the fuck? Z said something. That's cool. Guys, come on. She's like 10. <laughs> of course. This is perfect! There's nothing perfect about that. Stay still for a second. You'll be just fine. <laughs> Yo, Z, you smiling a little too hard, my boy. So I guess she was waiting for Z's approval because he was just like, hmm, yeah, pretty nice. Oh, it's so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. 
No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Mmm, squid. I'm so hungry right now, guys, and squid sounds so good. Why don't we eat lunch, too? What do we I'll have? get some stuff for us, then. Do we have squid? Do we have anything good? You're eating that even here? My staple food. Nice. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. That's what I was thinking. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. When I'm at a beach, I don't care, man. I'm throwing down hot dogs, chips, soda, whatever. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. Ooh. But, Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. get how amazing we are we risk our lives being phantom thieves there's no way we're the same as other guys around here shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too you have a point you're full of yourself i don't care nah my man's got a point right don't you agree yusuke well if you put it that way you may be right why does Yusuke have a hoodie on? I need to know. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal you know what. Treasure, hearts, swimsuits. Now that's how you get arrested. On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. So is this gonna be like a Operation Babe Wait, Hunt 2.0 or something? Here. Don't leave me behind! If you guys don't know what 1.0 was, it was in Persona 3 when they were all at the beach. So this is like a 2.0. Ooh! You don't need to speak Japanese to know what that means. That means get your ass out of here. Oh fuck. <laughs> Please be her brother. Ah. I mean, if you go up to a lady and you gang up on her like that, of course she's going to go away. Come on, guys. Do it one at a time. You can't be like, you know, triple teaming her. That's not the way. That's not the Phantom Thieves way. <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Feel better. Just give up. Oh, uh, so cruel. You know what? We're going for it. No way, man. Come on. It ain't over yet. I'm going for a miracle comeback. Hmm. I've sensed a presence staring at us for some time now. Are we being followed? Wait, does this mean girls are going to hit on us? <laughs> See, I told you they'd be here. I could sense it deep within my loins. <laughs> Those lovely boys look like they're just begging to be hit on. You're those guys from Shinjuku! What are you doing here? 
Oh my, I can't believe we've been reunited in such a stunning place. It smells like destiny to me. No. We're the fashion police. If you don't answer our questions, we'll take you away. Hey. So, which one of us do you think is more manly? What are you talking about? Oh dear, your time is up. Sorry, but it was a trick question. The correct answer is... We're both lovely! You interfered with our duties by not answering the question. I sentence you to... Stripping! Hmm. Oh, my fashionista skills would be perfect for this. Hands behind your head! Ah! Get em. The suspects are escaping! Catch them! What the fuck? <sighs> I think we lost them. Wait, by the way, where's Yusuke? So, this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Ugh, what are you doing with those lobsters? Oh my god, lobsters sound so good too. Yes. While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distant shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time On entered my gaze. <laughs> Good for you. I'm very We're sorry. here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boats? There's gonna be a party too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh? So you were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? <sighs> it's far more interesting than anything involving you two. Ooh. Roast them, Makoto. Drag them. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. What creeps? Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. You did well to hold them off. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Huh? Oh, what? are those lobsters? One in each hand? I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? What? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. <laughs> we did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Was that it? Was that the whole beach day? Oh, okay. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So, it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know... All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But 
But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. Aww. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejet's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves, I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. Uh, duh! There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. Right? I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Okay. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. That's crazy how, like, Futaba is linked to this from her mom. Like, she isn't just another character joining the team. She's actually linked to, like, the metaverse. That's pretty crazy. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. The men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? Dead weight? She's like the MVP. If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and Music decide on Futaba's codename? 
The charming music. What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen. Oh yeah, she needs and a nickname. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? Mech? What the fuck? PC? <laughs> no. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Jeez. Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Glasses, Pharaoh, Internet. <laughs> Pharaoh's the best one out of these three. I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! That's a cool nickname. Futaba will be Oracle. That's probably one of the better nicknames out of all the Phantom Thieves. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! Right? Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. All right, guys. Never yes. mind. The incident with Medjed seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. I don't know who that guy is and why he's so damn evil, but we are going to figure it out next episode. I'm actually going to end this episode right here after we read all this. A criminal uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore, especially because they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom. To be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns, but now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back then with Kamishida and Madarame, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case. If that's for real, whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much, even about our Metaverse Nav. That is true. I wonder why that thing exists. There was a man in my dream. A dream? You still have a sleep, dude? I wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Utaba, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I'd never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. What? Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Okay, guys, we are going to end this episode of Persona 5 here. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too.